this question is asking us to find the zeros and the vertical intercept of the function f of x equals 4x cubed plus 9x squared plus 5x. Give your answer as integers or reduced fractions. So first thing I want to point out, um, you know, the horizontal intercepts are the same thing as the x-intercepts, and the vertical intercept is the same thing as the y-intercept. The horizontal left to right is talking about the x-axis and the y-axis here. All right, but we'll figure out the zeros first, and this is something we learned quite a while ago. We take our function and we replace the f of x with zero. So we've got zero equals four x cubed plus nine x squared plus five x. And to solve this, we definitely want to factor. We have different powers of x. First thing you want to notice here is that we have an x in common. Anytime you have a common factor, always take care of that first. So we're going to factor the x out. When we take an x out of the first part, we got 4x squared. When we take an x out of the second part, we got a 9x. And when we take the x out of the last part, we just have 5. Right? Always subtract the powers by 1. And then now that we see the biggest power inside here is x squared, you want to try to factor this. Even though it's not uh, 1x squared, we can do it. Um, this one isn't too bad. Anytime the two numbers, 4 and 5 here, add up to 9, you can kind of shortcut it. And so what we do is you have 4x in one and x in another. Everything is plus here, so it's all pluses. If you put the 5, that's going to match with the x, and the 1 over here, you'll see that that works out. But this is stuff that we've been doing throughout the entire course. You can use AC method, guess and check, whatever you like. But you can see this would work out because we would get the 5x, and then the 4x would make the 9x. All right, but now with that we got a factor, we got to set each part equal to zero. Right, so we've got zero equals x. Don't forget about the front. We got zero equals four x plus five. And we've got zero equals x plus one. Right, the one on the left is already solved for us. The one in the middle, we subtract the 5. We got 4x equals negative 5. And then we divide by 4. And we got x equals negative 5 fourths. And then the last one on the right, that one's gotten by just subtracting one on each side to get x by itself. And we got x equals 0 minus 1 is negative 1. All right, so those are the zeros. 0, negative 5 fourths, and negative 1. Now remember the x-intercepts are the same thing as the zeros, except these are the x-value of the coordinates and the y-value is zero. So the x-intercepts or the horizontal intercepts, we got x is zero and then y is zero. Then for the middle one here, x is negative five-fourths and y is zero. And then in the last one, x is negative one and y is zero. So these are our three intercepts. And then the y-intercept, well, it's not already given to us. We have to figure it out a little bit. But the y-intercept is what we get when we plug in x equals 0. 
Right? Anytime we want to figure out the intercept, we plug in the opposite thing as zero for zeros and x intercepts. Plug in y equals zero for the y intercept, we plug in x equals zero. And we get y or f of zero equals four times zero cubed plus nine times zero squared plus five times zero. And luckily for us, there's a whole bunch of zeros. This is zero, this is zero, this is zero. It adds up to zero. So the y-intercept is x is zero and y is zero. And for y-intercepts, there can only be one. And that's it. That's how we do it.